the most from mistake proofing, an organization must incorporate the practice of mistake proofing into their product and process design processes, and that one way to do this is to employ the practice of completing design and process failure mode and effects analyses, or FMEAs. So what is the purpose of an FMEA? Well, an FMEA is a systematized group of activities that's intended to recognize and evaluate the potential failure of a product or process and the effects of that failure from the customer's point of view. Another specific form of mistake proofing by making it easier to do something is called natural mapping, which is the building of logical one-to-one -one correspondences that allow an operation to become more obvious. In this example, stove B has a natural mapping that makes the knob that turns on the left rear burner obvious. In the extreme ideal world, which is where we're all, all trying to get to, there would be no need for instructions or labels, and everything would be inherently obvious. What are the benefits of an FMEA? Well, number one, it reduces engineering changes before production and after production starts. It helps us to reduce costs. Perhaps you remember this photo I showed you of the three doors. The handle and the visible hinges on door A make it obvious that the door has to be pulled open. But is it fully mistake-proofed? Oftentimes we see a door design like door C. In this case, an accident is likely to happen as two people try to push the door open from opposite sides. In fact, if we show the two FMEA forms at the same time, with the design FMEA on the left and the process FMEA on the right, the only two main differences are in the first column. And finally, another purpose is to allow us to manage risk by moving us away from management by crisis to prevention management. Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Years ago, the late great management guru, Stephen Covey, introduced us all to the time management matrix. Let's use the design FMEA as our baseline for continuing this discussion. Once again, here you see the design FMEA. For this part of the discussion, we will focus on our process FMEA, shown here. Now, the two columns that we're going to focus in on are the current process controls. The next column over, we talk about what are the causes of failures. So we take those three ratings, the severity and the occurrence and the de detectability, and we multiply them to come up with a risk priority number. So here now is an example of the detectability rating scale as published by the AIAG and modified by myself to include lean and mistake proofing terms. We see at the very top of this form that there are three types of detectability. Performing FMEAs and maintaining them as living documents with a close relationship to the design process, the corrective and preventive action process, the mistake proofing or pokey yoke processes, and Kaizen events or continuous improvement processes is essential to increasing quality and customer satisfaction, increasing profits while supporting the principle of respect for the individual.